voodoo. She's the rider on a pale horse. She's famine. She's pestilence. Utter destruction with no remorse. She yells, I gotta find me a man that will do to me what you can no longer do. She's always on the prowl searching for a fix. Wouldn't be surprised if she turned a few tricks. Slapstick, chopsticks, and chapsticks. She's looking for a man that can do a hat trick. Hustlers with hounds, rednecks, and hicks. She was gorgeous, I know. And how could that much hell come from something so beautiful? I mean, who knew? But you see, it's too late. The die has been cast, the spell spoken. For you've been touched by her voodoo. She is death in a dress, an empress of disaster, a whore no less. Her body sings as she walks. Her lips are always puckered when she talks. You ain't never seen a woman before that fine. Strangled by the strands of her web, she's playing with your mind. It seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but who knew? The die has been cast, the spell spoken, for you've been touched with her voodoo. Her words were the lore. Her intentions seemed pure, classy and demure. Come here, son, let me see your neck. Man, looks like you've been bitten already, injected with a poison for which there is no cure. As you innocently walked with her for an evening stroll, she stole your heart, your mind, and your soul. And she's imprisoned your spirit and she has full control and she's going to drag you down to the pit that's as black as coal. For this is just the beginning. You see, she's on a roll. And you didn't want to see the signs. For that's what happens when you let your guard down. She dressed you in a costume and made you a clown. And when she's finished with you, you'll be lucky if there are any pieces left to be found. Now you're confused. You're in a remote place and there's no one else for help for miles around. It's too late to cry for help. Now you're gagged and bound and you struggle in silence for you can't make a sound. They say hell has no fury like a woman scorned, but I beg to differ. There are punishments much worse. There are penalties much stiffer. A woman's scorn can't be handled by men like me and you. But never mind a woman's scorn. What should concern you is her voodoo. I'm telling you fellas, be content with what you got. Or else you'll find yourself in a really tight spot. And your family will be picking out a cemetery, a burial ground, a headstone, and a plot tailor-made just for you. The other woman is always poisoned. You get hooked, the addiction starts to scream, but you can't silence the noise and all the drama, so what do you do? Before you know it, she's then swallowed you up, and she's leading you around on a leash like a pup, and she continuously offers you vintage wine from her cup, for you tried to resist, but by then you didn't got got. Yep, it's much too late. And now the hunter is the hunted. Your dreams are smashed, your hopes destroyed, your growth is stunted, it's forth and goal, you have no options, so you punt it. They're your demons that you're wrestling with. They're the things that you've confronted. You see, it was impossible to say no to a body like that, I understand. And it seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but who knew? For now the die has been cast. The spell has been spoken. And now, you're a victim of her voodoo. Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Poetry TV. I guess this is actually the fourth edition of Poetry TV, and I'm excited because the wheels are continuing to turn. So thank you for joining me, not only for this edition of Poetry TV, but if you are watching this, you found me on 
findachurchhome.com with my personal professional channel that's called the Encouragement is Key channel. So I'm very appreciative and uh, I want to welcome you into this venture and uh, what we're doing as we're using any means necessary to encourage people. So let me talk to you about the piece that I just shared that is called Voodoo, one of my uh, personal favorites. Um, it's a newly written um, piece and um, so first first let me just clear something up just in case anybody is wondering I am not into the occult I'm not into any kind of black magic or dark arts not at all that is completely contrary to who I am here's what I'm into I'm into encouragement and I had an idea had an idea about as a man how can I help men and encourage men to continue to make the right choices and decisions as a man I realize our track record is horrible we're considered dogs we're considered to be animals that can't control ourselves and men in many respects we have shown women the kind of behavior that affirms those statements shame on us so what I want to do is and not be self-righteous and overly preachy about it but just as a man to men encourage you to stay connected to the woman that you have your wife your girlfriend whoever she is stay connected and most importantly stay committed to her guard yourself against the temptation of wandering eyes hearts minds and other body parts where you might get yourself into any kind of physical trouble emotional trouble why the the word i used in the title of the poem I used it to symbolize the fact that, man, you'll be getting yourself into something that will be completely over your head, that will engulf, it will envelop and strangle you and leave you destroyed. I know you think you can handle it. I know you think you're man enough to balance a number of different scenarios, but do yourself a favor. Don't do that. You bring death, destruction, dishonor and a bunch of things you open a door to a number of things to come in and destroy your family that will destroy you and the committed relationship that you're in so don't be foolish again I know this comes off really strongly but when I developed that poem it was a heavy topic it was a very heavy topic and I tried to try to do the very best I can I could to wordsmith that out to come up with something that would leave a man you know punched in the jaw so to speak with an understanding that there are some lines and boundaries that we should not cross stay committed men stay encouraged and stay faithful I know sometimes you, it may seem contrary to who you are and you may look around and wonder how in the world, why in the world, you may look and see because relationships take some, they take some turns. Sometimes they're up and sometimes they're down, but do yourself a favor and weather the storm and stay focused, stay committed. And whatever you do, in whatever situation you find yourself, get, be, and stay encouraged. This has been James W. Falcon for this edition of Poetry TV on the Encouragement is Key channel. I thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned. We've got more encouragement-based programming coming your way. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Take care.